for some and reject for others. That's fine. Don't feel like you're doing something wrong if you're not rejecting all the time. As we add more independent variables, we increase the likelihood that we're going to retain the null hypothesis sometimes. Because sometimes things just don't interact with other things. It's okay. It happens. Sometimes stuff just doesn't matter. And the more things you throw into the mix, more chances for things not to matter. So here's my question for you. Just to see if you kind of get it. Say that I'm doing a study that has three independent variables. How many possible main effects do I have? And how many possible interactions? Let's start with main effects. How many main effects are possible with three independent variables? Three. One for IV1, one for IV2, and one for IV3. Okay. So for every IV you have, there's a possible main effect. That's always true. Could happen. Now what about interactions? What are the possibilities? Interactions of what and what? What can interact if I have IV1, IV2, and IV3? What can I have an interaction? IV1 and IV2. IV1 and IV2. Okay. IV2 and IV3. Okay. IV1 and IV3. IV1 and IV3. And all three together. All three together. So if you were doing an analysis of three independent variables in one experiment, you would have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ANOVA to get all the F tests done. And then all the post hoc tests that would go with that. For my dissertation, I did four experiments. Each one had four independent variables. So I was running lots and lots and lots of analysis of variance for my dissertation. And apparently I did okay job because they gave me a PhD. So, um, yeah, NOVAs are my thing. I love the NOVAs. I think they're fun. So, but I sure as heck would never do a four-way analysis of variance by hand. Not with hundreds of subjects, hundreds of data points for each condition, never. I'll throw it into SPSS. But I want to make sure that you understand how NOVAs work. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about this material. Anything about today that's confusing? Anything you want me to clarify? Okay, a reminder. Please, 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 do not skip lab today. Not only are they doing the exam review, but you're also going to be getting information about the first paper assignment, including the checklist of things you'll want to pay attention to for working on your paper. The paper's not due right away, but that's so that students who are worried about their writing will be able to come and get help work with the tutor, get some advice about what they need to do with the assignment so that their first writing assignment will be as strong as possible because your first writing assignment is the basis for the subsequent two writing assignments. So you want to make sure you knock the first one out of the park if you can. Okay? I will see you next time. We will talk about graphs, graphs, and more graphs.